algae basically um, uses the power of the sun. It photosynthesizes. So what we have in our system is we are able to take what nature gives us, so natural photosynthetic organisms, not just algae, but other photosynthetic organisms, and we use the power of the sun instead of electricity to actually process sewage and other wastewaters to create a very high quality water for reuse. It could be used by industry, aquaculture, horticulture, and so on. Because Algae CIS focuses on the smaller operations, the smaller communities and businesses, it means that for the first time, small communities can actually afford to, re to reuse their water. Normally it is cost prohibitive. And so, you know, there's a huge unmet need of small communities all around the world. So we can raise water equality and, uh, you know, stimulate local small economies all around the world. It's energy autonomous and is very suitable for remote locations, as well as it could be used in the city as well. It could be on rooftops, it could be on floating pontoons. It, it's a, a mobile form of treatment if necessary, and it's very simple to operate and maintain. Probably the biggest impact uh, that Uplink has had since we won the um, the Circular Water Cities uh, Challenge um, about a year ago was meeting our seed investor, uh, Sono Beke. So it has been a great networking opportunity. We've met many prospective collaborators. On top of it, uh, Sana, our investor, doesn't just bring in money. He also has value added in terms of business development, opening new markets, particularly in Australia, but also because his digital technology background has also helped us to look at uh, in future offering customers better asset management uh, and also looking at the measurement and uh, validation of, of our carbon absorption capability so that we can look at uh, carbon offset benefits for our customers. From my perspective, yeah, it was actually about helping them achieve their potential to bring what I consider to be obviously a piece of disruptive technology to the Australian marketplace, which is almost uniquely suited as well, um, because this is powered by the sun at the end of the day. Um, we have no shortage of sun in Australia uh, and we do have a shortage of water. 